Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. This is Taliesin McKnight and today I'm going to talk about a Saint Expedite or in New Orleans they pronounce it Saint Expedite. So Saint Expedite is a very popular spirit in hoodoo um, in the forms of hoodoo that work with the saints and Expedite, there is his image, he's believed to be a very fast-acting spirit. So today, I'm going to talk about uh, tips and tricks for working with Expedite, um, sort of the history, how he got into hoodoo tradition, um, sort of the, the, the history of Expedite in hoodoo. Um, so first of all, the word Expedite. What does Expedite mean? When you expedite something, you speed it up. You make it go faster. So that's the definition of the word expedite. So just from the name, the name means to speed up, make it go faster. And he's known for really rapid results. And in his iconography, um, you see he crushes with his right foot a crow. Uh, with the Latin word cross, which means tomorrow in Latin. He crushes tomorrow, and he holds up a cross with the Latin words hodie, which means today. So even in his religious symbolism, he crushes tomorrow in favor of today. So expedite means to speed up, he crushes tomorrow in favor of today. So just from the name and just from the image, you could see that it's about uh, speeding things up, quickness, swiftness. Now, Expedite, or St. Expedite, could be called upon uh, for virtually anything. He could be called upon for wealth, love, romance, uh, protection, healing, health, good luck. So this is basically a spirit that could be used for anything, just fast solutions. Um, say you need some quick money. Uh, say that, you know, you need employment, whatever the case may be. And a lot of times he's used for prosperity and money-related matters. So, speeding things up, he expedites things. He makes them go faster. Now, before I go into um, how he served and all of that, I'd like to go a little bit over the history in hoodoo. Now, hoodoo... Now, you know, I under things change over time. Um, with the internet, uh, hoodoo is rapidly changing. Suddenly, everybody's great-great-great-grandmother was a hoodoo. Suddenly, everybody has hoodoo in the family. Well, my mother taught me hoodoo. You know, if all the people are really have hoodoo fat passed on in their family that claim it, well, then, hell, everybody's a hoodoo in their family. Um, I'm not buying it. And there's a lot of inaccurate stuff going around, too. Things that old school workers never even heard of. So, um... Traditions change with time, but it's important that the process happens in some sort of a intelligent way, and so it's important to look to the past to see how these things developed, okay? So, um, how did, how did St. Expedite get into hoodoo, and what's the history of the saint? Now, we have to keep in mind that hoodoo is largely influenced by Protestant Christianity, your Baptist, Methodist type of Christianity. Now, hoodoo is African-American folk magic. Um, of course, you got white folks practicing like me. You got Hispanics, different races. But really, hoodoo is African-American folk magic practiced all over the southern United States, in Mississippi, Alabama, Texas, Louisiana, uh, South Carolina, Georgia, Oklahoma. So all over the southern U.S., 
uh, you have hoodoo. As I said, the majority is actually Protestant. Now, there's always been Catholic forms of hoodoo that works with saints in different regions. But a lot of the Catholic elements of hoodoo seem to be influenced by New Orleans. Um, you have to keep in mind, the majority of Louisiana, New Orleans, are Catholic. Okay? And, uh, in fact, they don't even have counties. They call them parishes, just to show you how Catholic New Orleans is, historically. So, there's always been Catholic forms of hoodoo in Georgia, Oklahoma. So, there's always been Catholic workers. But, a lot of these Catholic traditions working with saints seems to have their roots in New Orleans. And this is especially the case with St. Expedite or as they say in New Orleans, St. Expedite. Now before, uh, that's a little bit of the, now he served with pound cake. Uh, a lot of folks say Sara Lee pound cake. Um, and, and the use of sticking nickels in the cake and uh, putting candles on his food offerings, um, glasses of water. A lot of this does seem to be, have its roots in New Orleans. Um, so anyways, uh, so, expedite, he expedites things. He gives quick results. Um, he, his image shows him crushing tomorrow in favor of today. He could be called upon for anything. Wealth, love, good luck, health. Although a lot of people work with him for prosperity and money matters. Now, what is the historical... Uh, what do we know historically about expedite? <clears throat> Expedite, the only historical record we have is from the old Roman Catholic martyrologies, which say that someone by the name of Expeditus uh, was martyred on April the 19th, in the beginning of the 4th century. That's all we know. Now, legend says that he was a Roman centurion. As you could see, he's a Roman soldier. Uh, who died during the persecutions of the Roman Emperor Diocletian. Okay. Now, Expedite's been honored since the Middle Ages. In, uh, Expedite is venerated around the world in the church. In uh, Italy, France, Spain, Portugal. He has a huge following in Brazil. So, Expedite's honored all over the world. But in hoodoo tradition, we offer him pound cake. Uh, things like that. Which, they don't offer him pound cake in Brazil. Uh, I never heard of anybody offering pound cake to him in Italy or France. So, this is an American hoodoo thing. Okay, and today I'm going to talk about St. Expedite or St. Expedite in hoodoo tradition. Okay, so how do you work with him? To work with St. Expedite, you're going to need a red candle and a glass of water. Red candle and a glass of water. And also have his image when you petition him. Um, I'm going to show you my altar here, my altar a little bit, okay, so uh, this is uh, my main altar that I work my hoodoo on, um, so as you can see I have, diff whoops, I have different images of St. Expedite, okay, so I have different images, now when you petition him, it's a good idea to have an altar, you know, a small table, whatever. You're going to need a red candle and a glass of water and his image, okay? Now, his color is red. And it's really important when you work with a spirit, such as Expedite, to get the colors, certain things that connect with that spirit. So you have a red candle, glass of water, and the image. And usually, these are placed in a triangle formation a triangle formation 
the image in the back, glass of water on the right, and a red candle on the left. So in a triangle. That's really popular. So a glass of water, red candle, and his image. Now, when you petition St. Expedite, it's really important to be specific. And this all goes back to the folk Catholicism of his martyrology. They say that he was beheaded when he was martyred. And for that reason, they say that he is dim-witted or slow. As insulting as that may sound, that's something you see in uh, folk magic traditions and Catholicism. Same thing with St. Jude. St. Jude was said to be beheaded or to have his head bashed in, okay? And so when people petition St. Jude in hoodoo, they try to be real specific so he doesn't get confused. So that's just some of the folk traditions of working with him because uh, St. Expedite was beheaded. You have to be real specific or he'll get confused. That's the folk belief around that. So you give him a time frame, such as St. Expedite or St. Expedite. Give me $600 by March 31st without uh, injury to my property or injury to anyone. That's an example. So he doesn't hurt anybody like physical injury. He gives it to you by this date. So be specific when working with him. However, you don't want to be specific in how he manifests because that limits him, okay? So be specific. Glass of water, red candle. Now, if, if he comes through and gives you what you want, and after he comes through, then you give his offerings of pound cake, nickels, red flowers, and a public thank you. So... Expedite said to be a tricky spirit. If you give him his pound cake before he does the job, he won't work. That's like saying, okay, good job, you're done. So, if he manifests your desire, and after you give him pound cake, a lot of people do coins or nickels, red flowers, and a public thank you. If he doesn't do the job, he doesn't get his offerings. And you only do it after. Now, this is a real popular kind of a New Orleans tradition. The pound cake. Now, a lot of people say Sara Lee pound cake. But whatever works for you works. I personally go with the Sara Lee. Because I figure, hey, if they say he likes Sara Lee, I could just as easily get Sara Lee as anything else. So I use the Sara Lee pound cake. And he doesn't need a whole cake, just a slice. A big slice. And you'll take three nickels. And you'll stick them in the top of the cake in a triangle formation. Now, I'm being a little bit more descriptive than most videos. Most videos just kind of water it down. I'm going to give you the actual specifics, and you can adapt this how you want. But I'm teaching more traditional, okay? This is my teaching of hoodoo. I'm going to be as descriptive, historical as I can. I'm not just going to water crap down like a lot of people. So if you want to do it this way, you take a slice of pound cake, take three nickels, and you stick them in the top of the cake. Say this is the top of the cake. You stick three nickels in the top of the cake in a triangle formation. Okay, in the top, like sticking half out. So you take three nickels and stick them in the top of the cake in a triangle. Remember I showed you that his picture, candle and water, is in a triangle? Remember that? Uh, you know, if you look over here, this is done in a triangle uh, formation, okay? Same thing with his uh, coins in the cake. You stick his nickels in a triangle formation. And in between these nickels, or pennies, or whatever, or quarters, 
In between these coins, you'll stick a red candle and light that candle. And that is his pound cake offering. Okay, so say you offer him a slice of pound cake and that's the top of the cake. You'll have three nickels in the top of the cake. And here you'll put a, a, a red candle or a tea light or a white candle, whatever. I like to use red because that's his color. You light that candle and thank him. So that's your pound cake and nickels or coins. He also likes red flowers. Red flowers and his pound cake. Uh, red again is his color. These could be red roses, carnations, things like that. Some folks say he likes carnations. And usually you leave the food offering on there for 24 hours at least. After that, a day or two. You throw it out, sign, let the birds eat the cake. So people say, could I eat the cake when I'm done with it? No, you can't. Uh, you don't, no, you don't, you don't give an offering of cake and then eat it. Doesn't happen that way, okay? You throw the cake outside, let the birds eat it. Now, when it comes to the birds eating the remains, some people say that it connects to the tradition of his iconography. He, he crushes a crow. So, you see the, the image of the crow, his iconography, and you got the birds eating the cake. Also, a public thank you. Uh, old folks, old workers in New Orleans would publish a one-sentence thank you in the newspaper. Such as, thank you, St. Expedite, for coming through for me. That's it. Put it in the paper. So that's a public thank you. Today, a lot of people write blogs. They may make a video on YouTube. They could share it on Facebook, how he came through for you. Uh, on Facebook, uh, social networking sites. So you put a public thank you to spread his fame and public renown. Now, it's real important once he comes through to give these offerings as soon as possible because the folk belief says that he will take away what he gave you just as quickly as he gave them. He'll take it away if you don't do this as soon as possible. So that is St. Expedite or St. Expedite. Red candle, glass of water, picture, triangle formation. Petition him. Give him a specific time. If and after he comes through, pound cake, nickels, red flowers. Public thank you. And that's it. <clears throat> now most, now I'm going into something else. Uh, and it, now before I close, I'd like to go a little bit over this. Usually when I talk about hoodoo, it's just general southern hoodoo. But sometimes when working with saints, it does seem to have sort of a New Orleans uh, type of thing. Uh, some of the traditions of working with St. Jude, St. Expedite, St. Raymond, St. Anthony of Padua, uh, some of these traditions around that seems to stem from New Orleans. Okay. Now, not all, but a lot of them. Now, the oldest church in New Orleans is Our Lady of Guadalupe Chapel. It was built in the year 1826. Uh, it's the oldest standing church in New Orleans. Our Lady of Guadalupe Chapel, uh, built in 1826. It's on Rampart Street. And uh, this chapel was built for the dead from that people that were dying of the yellow fever. Okay? It was a funeral chapel to receive the dead. Now, the, so many people died of the yellow fever. It was a plague. Uh, I think it was 1828 in the month of August. In one month, 5,000 people died. So, you're talking about thousands of dead people in a month sometimes would come to this funeral chapel. And uh, there was a city ordinance that was passed 
that the dead could only come here because they believed dead bodies spread the disease back then. So anyways, back then, Our Lady of Guadalupe Chapel, they didn't have pews. You just had dead bodies and the priest doing the last rites. And this is right across the street from St. Louis Cemetery Number 1, which is where the body of Marie Laveau is. Now, today it's a regular chapel. I mean, it's a regular church. And today, people that practice hoodoo, uh, stuff like that, now, hoodoo, voodoo are two different things. But in Louisiana, they're kind of practiced together. A lot of folks, they go into the chapel, they petition St. Expedite with his image. And then they walk across the street to Marie Laveau's tomb. So, you know, it's interesting uh, a little bit about that. But anyways, okay, so uh, that is St. Expedite or St. Expedi. And that is how to work with him. Pound cake, red flowers, things like that. So, and I do will have some more coming up on uh, St. Lucy and uh, St. Raymond, things like that. Uh, some of your folk Catholicism and conjure. So anyways, thank you for joining me. And once again, this is Tally Sim McKnight. Have a great day, y'all.